Hello, my lovely people. Good morning and welcome to God's Love You channel, the home of news. If it is your first time of coming across this platform and you like what we are doing, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications. This will enable you to know when we upload a new video. Here we react to all forms of videos, local, international, especially what is happening in Nigeria like this one that I want to present to you right now. So subscribe and you will never regret of being part of this great platform. So my people, there is one video I want to play. You know, one thing that baffles me in Nigeria or about Nigeria is this. There is this adage in Igbo that states that Onyo noyada aboko ada chijiji. But that is what is happening. Could you believe that on the day May 31st set aside for the Biafrans to remember their hero, to remember those that lost their lives in the struggle of the restoration of Biafra. That was the day set aside, only one day. The innocent citizens came out to celebrate. They weren't protesting. They weren't creating violence. They were just jubilating, exciting, showing respect, love to those who lost their life during this struggle. Only for the Nigerian military to come there and buy a lot of them. Now, when they did that, the people who were defending themselves, of which we don't know the people that buy the Nigerian military, what the Nigerian military did, they went back, reinforced themselves, came back, started dealing with the citizens, even took a lot of them that we do not know where they are. I want you to listen to what these people, what this man, Oromoya is saying. Instead of them to, solve the, to look into the, uh, 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 the grassroots of the problem, that was how they were doing. They went to Kenya, kidnapping Nandi, kind of thinking that Biafra restoration is a spirit. You cannot quench it. You can, they have to accept it. I want you to listen. I was listening to this man. I was like, wow, is he the kind of person? I, even this yourself, if you have this person as your papa, when you get problem, this man will deny you. If he say no, be your papa, make you listen. You will, you will understand that they should, go, they should go and bring the prime minister back to Nigeria to come and face his trial. Okay, he's in Finland. Okay, let's listen. Yeah, yes, a lot of people have said that. Uh, yes. We know he's still in Finland. Uh, but it doesn't change the fact that he's a voice that several people, especially those in the Southeast, listen to. So saying that he should come, that probably he should come back, well, you know, that's probably, that's probably not a very, very realistic uh, move. But he's still a voice that people listen to, especially those in the Southeast. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a voice. It's a voice, if you remember what I said. It's a voice to misguided elements. It's not a voice to reasonable people. Uh, but I, I can be listening to him. Uh, most people cannot be listening. But some of these people who have been brainwashed will be listening to him. But he's there, enjoying himself. But I also believe that this time, government should enter into negotiations with uh, the country where he's operating for and see whether he can be repatriated and to enable him face trial, because uh, what he's doing is worse than what uh, Nandekani was doing. So he should be brought back for uh, for, for trial. So what is the way forward? You know, how do we prevent this from happening again, whereby we have non-state actors attacking our military personnel? How do we stop it, not just in the southeast, but in all parts of the country? You see, the, the, in all parts of the country, uh, for, for, for instance, if, you, if I talk of the South is that people should come out to volunteer information, the people are scared. They are afraid. They cannot give out information because these people are living within the same people. So our security agencies should intensify efforts to flush out uh, these elements from their hideouts. And once that is done, because I see, I, I was watching... Um, uh, a video on our rise this morning, uh, we, they, were, they were parading themselves as if there's no law in the country. 
So we should deploy more technology to see where they're operating from. And I can tell you on authority that a lot of arrests are being made, especially in Imo State, by the State Security Service, and they, they, don't, they don't like going public. I can tell you on authority. And that's why there's a, a law, there's a decline in the activities of these uh, elements in Imo State. They are now shifting ground to uh, Abia and uh, possibly some fringes of uh, Anambra where they are, they are currently operating. So we need intensified efforts from government and cooperation from the people to see that not only in, uh, in uh, the South is for IPO, for instance, there are pockets of uh, uh, criminality in virtually all parts of the country. You have a kidnapping, a mass kidnapping in the Northwest, North Central, uh, the issue of uh, uh, Boko Haram is dying down in the northeast. Uh, the headsmen, they are, they are also operating in the north center, especially in Benu and, and part of uh, Delta State. So all these are security challenges that require appropriate action from government and from the people. All right, so some would say this is even a hydra-headed problem because some part of Nigeria are being marginalized or maligned, as the case may be, when you, when you talk about progress, the dividends of democracy, and every other thing that you can actually weave around being a Nigerian. And some would say that's the root cause of some of those problems, that the government at the center has not done enough to ensure that progress and also development is evil is spread, that everyone has that sense of entitlement. Everyone has that sense of belonging, being in Nigeria, whether you're from the north, south, east, the west, southwest, south, south, northwest, northeast. Do you think the government can begin to change the narrative? Maybe that might fix this problem that runs deep into the roots of Nigeria. The only thing is, the only thing yeah, I agree with you. There are a lot of agitations in the country, and we need to come and sit down to discuss our problems, especially these agitations. Some people claim marginalization, but there was also from the government. Government actions seem to be portraying fairness, equity, justice. That's the only way we can be. A lot of people are unemployed. Cost of living is uh, skyrocketing and uh, people can hardly have, and this leads some people you know, although it's not justification into criminality so government on its part can do certain things i, I think during this uh, negotiation for wage increase government has come out with some measures but how that can be implemented if government can pursue it and implement such measures i think it will reduce some of these uh, tensions that is generating and building up in the country. Besides that, our security architecture is too centralized. I've continued to maintain that, and I, that's why I'm happy that the government and the state governors are buying into it, that we need to localize our solutions to our local security challenges. It's not what we apply as a solution in the Northeast that you are going to apply in the, north, in the Southeast I'll give you an example. We have the issue of IPOB agitation in the Southeast. You cannot use that same solution to tackle the issue of kidnapping and uh, uh, mass kidnapping in the North Central or agitation in the... Every problem requires its own local solution. So I believe that government should begin to work towards decentralizing the security architecture by creating state police. Although some people will also tell you that it will be abused. Uh, they, they come up easily with this, uh, the issue of um, uh, state independent electoral commission. And I tell you, these are not different. The police, the central police, the Nigerian police, will still be there to oversee what they are doing. The crim crimes will be divided to simple and serious. My people, we have heard what he said. I want you to go to the comment section and tell me what you think. Thank you so much for watching.